Hey everybody, welcome back to Chris's Strange and Things. It's York Week, which is always one of the most exciting weeks of the year here on the channel and in the O scale and model railroading hobby here on the eastern side of the country. And I know people come from all over for the York train show, but let's talk about it right here on Chris's Trains and Things. So whenever I post a York video, a recap video, I always get questions in the comments like, what is York and why have I not heard about that? Well, the York show is a train show put on the, by the Eastern Division of the TCA or the Train Collectors Association. And it's held at the York Fairgrounds every April and October each year. And there's multiple halls set up with dealers, uh, with, with private sellers and other TCA members. And you can go through all those halls and go shopping and see what they have available. The Orange Hall is in the Weiss Arena, which is a really big building at the York Fairgrounds. There's a food court area, and then you can go through, and there's tons of vendors. And usually we see dealers like Train World will be there. We'll see Trains and Things from New Jersey. We'll see Just Trains of Delaware will be there. Altoona Model Works will be there selling some things. We'll see places like Grzboski's Trains will have a huge stand set up and all sorts of smaller vendors as well that'll have smaller scenery or O-scale related items, including trains. In fact, trains.com, that's trains with a Z, will be there. If you follow them on Instagram or on Facebook, they posted some pictures of the gigantic box truck of stuff that they are bringing for York this year that you can go in and just see and pick and buy and you usually can get some really great deals at the York show which makes it a ton of fun. In the other halls, there's a hall that will just have some operating layouts of different scales. And then there's the member halls. And the member halls are just members of the TCA. They buy tables and they sell parts of their collection or perhaps some things that they've purchased or acquired if they own maybe a smaller store and didn't want to be in the orange hall. The nice thing about that is if you were a TCA member, you can get into those halls. They are tax-free because it's member-to-member -member sales, which is the benefit. The Orange Hall does include some taxes because it's open to the general public as well. My suggestion is to get to York uh, at some point in time if you're a collector. It is Thursday at noon, Friday all day, and Saturday all day, although typically some people start to pack up mid-afternoon on Saturday. Now, this year, we have the YouTube meet and greet. So myself, Sid from Sid's Trains and Sean from Dakman Productions will be doing a Q&A session in the Orange Hall on Saturday at 11 a.m. We hope to see you there. This was put on last year. It was the first time that this was done. It was hosted by Chris Rains of RBP Trains. Jason from Jason's Oak Gage Trains was there. Norm Charbonneau from Norm's Trains. And of course, Eric Siegel from Eric's Trains put that on. It was a great event. So not all those guys are coming back this year and won't be here on Saturday. So we decided to continue that with the help of the TCA. So Sid and myself and Sean will be there to kind of talk about what it's like being on this uh, this side of the camera and kind of working with different organizations to try to promote the hobby and things like that. So we hope that you can be there. We might be doing a live stream as well. So stay tuned for that. It would be on my channel or Sid's probably. So we will probably try to get a live stream of that as well, although the chat won't be moderated. So if you want to ask questions, the best thing to do is come to the show at 11 o'clock on Saturday. But my suggestion is get there before. Now, I will be at the TCA show, the York show, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This is the first time that I'm going all three days. Very fortunate that I was able to do that this year. I'm excited to go on Thursday because I've never been there on a Thursday. And that's when you see a lot of really good stuff. And you're going to be running in at noon to get to certain vendors to see what they've got before things start selling. So it's always an exciting time. And I'm looking forward to it. And I hope to see you there. If you want some information, look in the, the show notes below. You'll see some information on what, uh, how you can get some information on the show itself from the Eastern Division's website. Now, what am I looking for at York? Well, I've said this before, nothing, but that never seems to be the case. So this year, what I'm looking for is scenery products. I've got one or two maybe locomotives or pieces of rolling stock in my head, but usually I end up going there and I see something that wasn't even on my mind that really strikes a chord with me that I really want to purchase. So we'll see what I come home with. I do have a tighter budget this year because of, there's a lot of pre-orders about to come in. 89 should be in, in the Lionel in like two weeks. So that means it's going to hit dealers in about a week or so after that. So we'll have 89 here on the layout, which will be really exciting, but then we have to pay for that also. So it all goes into the whole budgeting process when you go to shows like York or any train show, really, to make sure you don't just go and overextend yourself. That being said, I've had a lot of questions about budgeting again. I have done a budgeting video on this channel before. That was many years ago. I've changed my, my style of how I do my budgeting. And so I think it's time for us to come out with a newer, updated video on budgeting and how I go about it now that I've learned some new things. 
and maybe that'll be beneficial for anybody entering the hobby or someone that's in the hobby but continues to overextend themselves. And that's the issue with train shows is that it's easy to do that. So my suggestion is leave the credit card at home, bring cash that you want to spend, that's your budget, and don't go, if you don't have your credit card, can't go to the ATM, can't spend more money. So that's my suggestion, bring the cash that you want to use to transact, nothing else. But we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned. If you are at the York show, leave me a comment below. Are you going? If show what day? Let, let's let's hear about it. And where are you coming from? Throw that in the comment section below. How far are you driving to get to the York show? And if you see me there, I will probably have a maroon shirt on and my hat on like usual. Come say hi. I look forward to seeing and meeting some more of the viewers of the channel at York this year. We seem to meet more and more every time I get to go. So it's always exciting. So thank you so much for watching this one. Stay tuned for the recap video and possible live stream on Saturday morning if you can't get to the show. Appreciate all of you. Have an awesome day. <laughs>